grams are wet flour Two red beans, onion, oil, sugar and celery This is my tasty cooking show Half an egg one. my name is Master Arms Second Class Marissa Sanchez and this is my co-host partner. I'm Master Arms Second Class Roxanne Arguan. Wanted to say shout out to Naval Base Guam and to the entire security department. So, Marissa, what are we going to be cooking today? Um, we're going to be making a ceviche. So it's going to be lobster and shrimp avocado ceviche. And this is more of a, I would say, Latin American Spanish dish. Very similar to Guam's delicious dish, shrimp calaguin. So the only real difference is where it came from. So we're going to begin. My co-host here, Roxanne, yes. will be making some of the vegetables and I'll be chopping the lobster and shrimp. We're going to start now first with the lobster. Uh, it's pretty much already cooked because the shrimp will cook in the lemon juice. Uh, breaks down the proteins. The uh, lemons and the limes, like I said, will be cooking the shrimp. Because you can boil the shrimp, but it does take away a lot of the flavor. As you can see, we pretty much have everything chopped. It looks like pico de gallo, which is like the dry Mexican salsa. has been cooking in the lemon juice. Basically, the lemon just breaks down the protein and it, you can see it cooked it pretty nice. Overnight, it'll make it a little bit more solid, more pink, but it's still edible, just like sushi and sashimi are uh, practically the same thing. So, Roxanne, go ahead and add the uh, cucumbers, tomatoes. I'm gonna add, these are all the diced peppers. Uh, kind of go along as you go. You don't wanna add too much because you can't reverse it once it's in there. Pretty much, uh, We'll mix it. Oh, so excited. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and add more avocado okay. the better. So yes. right. I'm gonna start stirring it as she's adding it in there. And you can see all the colors beautifully come together. Do we want this other side? Too? Yeah, more. Awesome. More avocado. So I love avocado. Save a little bit for the top. Nice. For the garnish it yet. Mm. Alright, mix it all together. I feel like we should add more peppers. Again. These are sweeter, they're not really hot. And then we're gonna go ahead now and add, this right here would be cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. I say more cayenne pepper, hotter the better. <laughs> okay, and I still like to squeeze an extra lime just to kinda get more of that flavor in there. And we also have uh, sea salt in here, so it you know obviously helps the shrimp cook as well and gives it more flavor. All right, so garlic's really good, especially if it's this small, small mince, you don't really taste, you know, too much of a strong flavor. Final touch, there's really no measurement on this. You just add to your liking. I don't really have a limit when it comes to hot sauce for me. Last thing would be just a little drop of olive oil. It kind of adds a, a nice shine to it. Um, not a drop, but kind of a little pour. <laughs> Kind of adds a nice shine to it, and it also does add like an extra flavor that's really unique. Okay, and now we're almost ready to eat. There's a lot of ingredients in here. Simpler is better, but sometimes the flavors do better when they're all together. Cheers. All right, thanks. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect. It's so good. And I hope you all enjoyed this recipe as much as we did eating it and making it. Um, this was a recipe my family's been making it this way for years. Please add your own take to it. It's very versatile. There is no end to how you can make ceviche. Okay. And stay tuned to the next episode of What's Cooking. Adios. Adios.